is walking through your door. But please don't piss us off. Remember, we pay for your floor. Hello and welcome to this week's episode of the We Pay For Your Floor podcast. My name is Andy. My name is Phil. And I'm Phil. <laughs> You're going to keep doing this, aren't you? <laughs> and just remember, this year, <laughs> this podcast is sponsored and... Today's episode of the We Pay For Your Floor podcast is sponsored by Eccle Fecking. Yes, that is a real place that exists. <laughs> it's quite nice, you know. Eccle Fecking? It oh. is a real place. Doesn't that sound like um, Eagle Piggle's lesser known cousin? <laughs> Eccle Fecking. <laughs> it is a real place, though. It's is it? Yeah. Oh, well, I mean, um, uh, Thingy Cock is a place, isn't it, where it got flooded? Cockamouth. Oh, Cockamouth, yeah. Yeah, that's uh, over in Cumbria. Aye. Uh, <laughs> all the good names all the there. good names in one if you're going to do it do it right <laughs> <laughs> and on today's episode we will be talking about the cream flooded chasm of Derby Town Centre let you know <laughs> <laughs> creamy Derby <laughs> yeah the cream flooded chasm of Derby Town Centre and all that sail in her all, all oh. that sail in her yeah <laughs> it's the only way to get to the Morrisons uh, yeah but she does charge a lot for passage. We talk about Sarah's vagina. <laughs> it's been a while. Oh my! How much does your vagina pay for passage? Or charge for passage? You can't afford it. Let's put it that way. <laughs> I can't afford it. <laughs> your vagina is eating you out of house and home. <laughs> <laughs> yes. Speaking of which, how is your floor? <laughs> it's great. <laughs> oh, the courts the court case is still ongoing. You know what it's like. Not it's still not settled. Still not settled. I you know what it's like. MFI involved. Have you tried and the MFI was involved. Click and lock's been a nightmare. <laughs> oh. Don't get me started on laminate. It's just insane. It's just it's just, it's all these legal troubles. I know. We will check in next week. I really hope your floor does get it. Me it's too. Sorted. Me too. It's not having a good time, is it? No, it's not. Really struggling. Mm. You know what it could do with? A nice massage. I hear that's what Jeffrey's offering now. Oh! Right? <laughs> ah, yes! Jeffrey the prostitute giraffe. Ah, oh, bless him. Ah, oh, bless him. He has, he's not come. He's in the middle you know. of Gloucester. He's in the middle of Gloucester. He's gone far, hasn't he? Yeah. Do you know what's great, though? You can see him a mile away. Yeah, I know. <laughs> Just... What, Phil? What's a giraffe doing in Gloucester? <laughs> what was a giraffe doing being a prostitute in Portsmouth? Phil? What was a Get what? some perspective. <laughs> There's nothing else to do in Portsmouth apart from. Sort your life out, out, Phil. <laughs> Ask relevant questions, <laughs> God. You need to sort out your priorities. <laughs> You're being ridiculous. <laughs> Jeffrey can do what he wants with his life. Exactly. No, he can't. While well, he strong lives under my roof giraffe. in Gloucester. <laughs> He's a strong independent giraffe. <laughs> For me and God to decide. I am God, and I decide he's fine. He's well, fine. Uh, looks like we've got a, a split vote. I am God, I win. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> so I had a discussion. Slash, it's kind of a game, kind of a discussion. So okay. we're going to call it a game discussion. A game discussion. <laughs> <laughs> I just thought of that right now, and I regret it. But we're gonna run with it. Game discussion, okay. <laughs> I've never had a game discussion before. Go on. I can't remember how this came up. But how I long's meant- the course of antibiotics for <laughs> <done> that? <laughs> I mentioned it to Phil, and then before he could you answer. You did not! <laughs> before he could answer, I said, shut up, this is gonna be a podcast segment. <laughs> okay. So the idea initially came from what it would be for us individually but I feel like we can do an individual one mm. and then we can culminate and make I'm a getting more and more nervous <laughs> with every word okay if you were to make an eyeshadow palette okay oh. based on you okay and your okay. jokes your life mm. mm-hmm. what would the shades be and what would they be called mm. and okay. why mm. and once we've all done like a small one mm. like a nine pan or something okay. We'll Nine. Come together. Nine. Okay, do six if you want. Do a mini palette. Do six. Palette. Do a mini palette. And then we come together. I can manage we'll six. I know six together, colours. And we'll do a week here for your four eyeshadow. Oh, yes. I'd love to do that. 
do a uh, collab. So, go on. I imagine you already have some thought to this. I some have some, in mind. yeah. Um, but we can also have some thinking time if we need to. Uh, we'll walk through yours while I while we think. Uh, I don't, I don't, I don't think I had all of them. Let me have a think. But I what are we doing? So, six. Uh, if we do like a mini palette each, so like between six. Okay, and nine, I got, I got. I'll do six. Palette. I'll do six. So my first one would be um, problematic. <laughs> what would the, what would the, the colour be? would be like a, a sparkly green, oh, but like okay. a nice dark forest sparkly green. Like a shimmer. Ooh. Like a shimmer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. Um, and then the next one would be a black shimmer. Right. <laughs> It'd be a black matte shimmer, and it would be called My Soul. Nice. Um, number three would be... <laughs> Bruce Wimbledon. <laughs> <laughs> that would be a nice matte purple. Mm-hmm. Nice matte purple. Okay. Goes with the, the thing. Um, number four would be nouns. And it would be white because I can't think of any. <laughs> 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 but it would be sh- glittery. Pretty. Be white and shimmery. And the Blank last. Blank but with substance. Got Blank one. but with substance. <laughs> That's the name of the palette. <laughs> You've got two more, by the way. <laughs> I've got two more. Yeah. Okay, so number five then would be. Um, what would five be? <laughs> goose. <laughs> five would be goose. And that would be um, a, a dark red. But like a brilliant dark red, if that makes sense. Okay. Yeah. A matte one I as well. I don't remember any red geese, but. Fair. Yep. You haven't hung around the geese once they've been to the picnic. Yeah. They oh. get pretty red. Oh. Last one would be... Um, <laughs> what would it be? <laughs> Phil. <laughs> <laughs> just be uh, Phil. Phil. Uh, just Phil. Pink. No, we're going with Phil and that would be pink. Uh, <laughs> it would be your pink. <laughs> it would be my pink. Oh, <laughs> Phil. oh Christopher. Oh, oh shit. Christ. Yeah, oh, no, I could have done that one. Seven, yeah, I might do that. Yeah, yeah. Oh, I might actually call the last one Oh Christopher and have that pink. Okay. There you go. That's my palette. Um, do you want to go or should sure. I? Sure. So, the first one that I know I'd have, even though I can't stand the colour orange, mm. it would be a matte orange, mm. and it would be called Damask Nickelodeon Logo, <sighs> which is a reference to okay. a, a video. The, um, the Nigella. The, the No Vimpy Nigella parallel. Oh, okay, right. Uh, then we would have, like, a golden shimmer called Oh Honey. <laughs> yes. Because uh, there's got to be an earn reference in there. Yes, absolutely. Um, hmm. What else? Would, what else would be like a personal one to me? That's like a, an image. Tagines. <laughs> oh, you should have added one called Tagines. I know. Next time. Next. Next palette. <laughs> <laughs> um. Hmm. A really a deep purple called mm. Slut. <laughs> Excellent. <laughs> because. Because. Exactly. Because Just purple's awesome. Yeah. <laughs> uh, oh, a nice beige mat called T. Okay, yep. That's, that's very me. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Beige. Just, just the tea. I'd also want a, I'd also want a black in there, but yeah. it's called Emo Phase. Emo, oh, very nice, yes. Yeah, a matte yep. black called Emo Phase. Yeah. Because you emo get phase. out of it. That yep. sounds like a wonderful, like... I'm not sure if it's a hero or a super what? villain. Matt Black. Emo Phase. The emo Phase. Oh, <laughs> but his real name is Matt Black. Yes! Yeah! A.K.A. Emo Face. A.K.A. Emo Face. Wonderful. Do it. <laughs> Do it. Uh, hmm. 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 Hmm.
Yeah. I'm going yeah, to I'm hell. Yeah. My, fa- my favorite Western band. Mm-hmm. Uh, and finally, for my ninth shade. Okay, this one's gonna be kind of silly, but like an aquatic blue called Lifeguard. Oh, okay, yeah, nice one. Finny. What? How many do you in a six palette? I just did a ninth. I had some ideas previously. Mm. Uh, so, I have just by scribbling managed to come up with seven. Oh. Uh, so it's not countdown. I, I know, <laughs> but I've got to one up some one. <laughs> Um, so I will go with uh, fog. 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 Mm. Which is like fog font and hamster. Which. What colour is it? Uh, <laughs> fog is a dark green. Okay. I now need to add two more. <laughs> uh, um, we have haunts, which is a sort of light gingery brown. Okay. Yeah, it's fashioning it for like a majestic chestnut. Your majestic chestnut. Yeah, oh, love. Hapta is a sort of gingery chestnut colour. Okay. Uh, but that one's got glitter in it because hamsters, hamsters are small, mm-hmm. fluffy, cute mm-hmm. little things. So we've got that. Um, then we have hedgehog blue. Yay, hedgehog because Sonic. We have, to have Sonic represented yes, somehow. Representing. Then we have moose piss. <laughs> okay, what colour is that? Orange. With brown glitter. With brown glitter. My yeah. goodness me. That's revolutionary. I don't think I've ever so, seen brown glitter before. Yeah, exactly. Nobody wants it. <laughs> uh, then we have the French ambassador. Okay. What colour is that? Which is a nice light purple. Okay. It's the combination of, of the all the colours. Of the yep. flag. Very good. Uh, then we have Croydon. <laughs> <laughs> which is a lovely matte slate grey. Excellent. No, no <laughs> defining. What the fuck is this doing Croydon? <laughs> uh, then we have... Um, I think that's all of them. We have TWM, which stands for Time and Weir Metro. <laughs> okay. And it is the yellow. You named one after a train. It, of course. <laughs> it's the yellow of the Time and Weir Metro logo. It's okay. Nice, bright yellow. And my last one is a glittery burgundy. A glittery burgundy. Oh, called. The Life and Times of Doris Middle. Yay! Yay! Excellent! Excellent. So now let's come together and make a, sl- a larger, because it's three of us doing it. Okay. So let's go for like a 12 pan. Okay. The 12 pan We Pay For Your Floor podcast palette. Okay. What are the shades? What are the no, shades? Are you going to take note? We Phil. have to have a shade called Sarah's Vagina. <laughs> There's no question. Oh, about but it, it. it can only be a meaty grey. A <laughs> meaty grey. <laughs> Pinky grey, pinky grey, uh, green. Yeah, maybe, pinky grey, green. Maybe like a sort of, um, like a, a light green. Gl- uh, ah, yes. Da, da. Ah, yes. Oh, oh. Ah. Mm hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Hmm. Clown. Clown. And we're back in the room. <laughs> um, like a sort of pinky grey colour with green glitter. With green glitter, yeah, yes. Like that sort of turquoisey, gone off meat kind yes. of. Um, <laughs> you, you know that sort of green shine you get on bacon? <laughs> <laughs> that is the most perfect colour to describe Sarah's vagina. The green sheen you get on bacon. <laughs> oh, it's phenomenal! Oh my god! It's how fucking straight faced you. You know the green sheen you get on making <laughs> when you've opened the top and left it a day. <laughs> you know. <laughs> I'd buy that eyeshadow. <laughs> you know the green sheen you get on making. Sheen on bacon, Phil. <laughs> 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 just 
not a check. <laughs> <laughs> you know the green sheen. You know. <laughs> So, this is, ladies and gentlemen, we present the official <laughs> We Paint Your Floor Eyeshadow <laughs> Palette, which will be in Sephora. <laughs> yeah. So we have, um, for the... T- <clears throat> for the purpose of the tape, Phil is struggling to read. <laughs> so, first we have, for the purpose of the tape, which is a lovely matte black, mm-hmm. uh, followed by Sarah's Vagina. <laughs> Uh, which is a nice grey-pink colour with a green glitter to really accentuate that green sheen you get out of it. Big! <laughs> uh, then there's an orangey-brown for birds. Yes, birds. Uh, Baron birds. and Childless, which is a nice green, sort of similar to the Walker's salt and vinegar, the, the sort of salt and vinegar packets, because I know you love your salt and vinegar. Mm-hmm. Um, then we have Why Would It Become? <laughs> Love that. Which is just a, a nice plain white. Absolutely. Um, is, is it a nice plain white or has it got a little bit of... There's Mucky. a bit of white. A, a Gammy. Sl- a bit of gamminess shade. in it. A slightly off white. Slightly yeah, off white. It's a corner shade. An eggshell. Um, uh, can you hear the sea? <laughs> uh, which is a nice sort of aquamarine <laughs> blue kind of colour. Uh, the Pea Power Ranger. Pea Power Ranger. Which of course is yellow. Mm-hmm. Um... Tram St. Clement, which is purple, uh, reminiscent of the purple tram line in Sheffield, and just, she was fabulous in purple. Absolutely, really. yeah, she looked great as a train. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Don't we all? <laughs> no, Pam pulled it off quite well. Yeah. <laughs> Pam pulled off a train. <laughs> but quite, yeah. quite well. <laughs> <laughs> Good for her. Good for her. It was a bit of an awkward day <laughs> at the National <laughs> Railway Museum. <laughs> yes. But she took it in she a She pulled stretch. it off, yeah. yeah. Stuck it in a stretch. Not often you see a woman stretch her fanny all the way around oh. the engine. <laughs> she is yes, Pan St. Clement. Yes, I took it there. <laughs> she is Pan St. Clement. Continue. Carry on. Why am I old? Why am I fat? Yay! Why am I old? Why am I old? Which <laughs> is a lovely gold. Mm-hmm. Just what you need to inspire you to actually do this bullshit. <laughs> uh, then we have Topic. Topic. Which is a lovely vibrant red. Excellent. Uh, nothing good happens Nutty on a red. Tuesday because <laughs> it's fucking true. Mm-hmm. Uh, which is a nice deep blue. Mm-hmm. Uh, then we have uh, sausages can't swim. <laughs> which is a lovely muddy brown. I thoroughly enjoyed that analogy. That I nice thoroughly enjoyed that. Stick. That, My that scenario. The sausage that threw <laughs> the budget. I fucking died. And I said it. Yeah. <laughs> uh, then we have the chicken cannon. Which, which is a, a nice metallic grey. A metallic grey. Probably yeah. a shimmer because it's metal. Uh, then we have, is anyone vagina? <laughs> <laughs> Why was that so funny? I just remember it was like... You <laughs> it. I don't know, but it's orange. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, then we have Bruce Wimbledon, yeah. which is tennis court green. Excellent. It's tennis court green. And poor wanky Leonard. Poor wanky which is a, Leonard. A nice remorseful light blue. <laughs> remorseful light. And blue. there you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you want to pick that up, it will be available at your local Sephora, London Drugs. London Drugs. Um, I think that's a Canadian shop. Actually. Oh, is it? I bought oh. Maddie too much. Yeah. Uh, you know. Color pop. Color pop. That's yeah. it. Oh, yep. we should do a color pop collaboration. Absolutely, I'm up for it. Yeah. Color pop X. We pay for your. Can you imagine that fucking branding? <laughs> Colour yeah. Pop reaching out to us. What can you offer our brand? Sarah's vagina. <laughs> you know Let that me describe it. <laughs> <laughs> Next time, that was great. I loved that. Just not to go. <laughs> you know that green sheen you got. That. that was so fun. That was, that was more fun than I expected it to be. That was really. Fun. I know it took up most of the episode, but that was delightful. No, it was great. Oh shit! Uh, yeah. You had a short game. I do. I have a short game for you. So you remember the other week when um, I couldn't think of the name for um, the person that's on the front of the toilet to let you know what gender that's specified for? Yeah. 
So I've come across where people have renamed things in a funny way. I know what you're about the portal cover. I remember now. The what? It was the portal video game cover. It looked like the that's it. it yeah, yeah, like yeah. The, yeah. So I said, you know, I said the toilet man, which meant the the little symbol on the toilet that represents the gender that it's supposedly built for. Okay. So I have found where other people have renamed for thing, things, and I want you to guess what they're actually called okay okay this could be fun. okay it's only a quick one i've only got 17 okay. okay so one of them you should already know because i think i mentioned it a while ago so this one's called danger danger bath bomb okay. toaster uh, toaster, toaster. Know, get, <laughs> get a little closer it's toaster that's andy's point next one is anime spaghetti noodles mm. ramen ramen yeah. there we go ramen one to fill uh, uh, number three is tooth comb. Uh, toothbrush. Toothbrush. Yep, Andy. Uh, number four is water with corners. <laughs> Ice cube. Ice. Yep. Yep, water Andy. Water with corners. <laughs> <laughs> That's phenomenal. <laughs> the fucking spikes on the what audio track. And you have a bucket of water I'm with corners. <laughs> cornered water. Cornered I'm sorry, water. we can't serve any, any <laughs> cold drinks today. We're out of cornered water. Let <laughs> 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 continue. That really tickled me. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> that, re- that really tickled me. I'm so sorry. Oh, shit. <laughs> Okay, number five is a uh, horse tornado. <laughs> Excuse me? <laughs> horse tornado. What did you call my mother? <laughs> a horse tornado. Um, a stampede? Or no. A... Oh, uh... um, what the horse? Right? Horse ton- tornado. <laughs> Come on, I don't know. It's a carousel. Oh! oh. <laughs> I was trying to think horses going around, but yeah. I can't think of the name of it. Six is a sand moose. Camel. Camel. Oh, and I hate you. I number want seven, the, I want panda, fish. Panda, fish. Panda, fish. panda 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 fish. Nope. No, panda fish. Panda fish. Panda fish. Panda fish. Orca. Kill whale. That's it. There you oh. go. Yeah. Number eight, bagel seeds. <laughs> bagel seeds. Nope. No. Bagel seeds. Donuts. Nope. <laughs> I feel as I'm putting too much thought into this. You are. It's going to melt. <laughs> uh, it doesn't take much to do that, though. Cheerios. Oh, oh fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> no. Bagels are shit anyway. <laughs> Number nine, a jacked deer. A <laughs> stag. Nope. Or a moose. Nope. Uh, or a My, my, my brain's at war here because it's got two different meanings of the word jacked fighting over each other. <laughs> <laughs> jacked deer. It's a kangaroo. Oh. I can kind of see that now. Yeah. Yeah. If you take yep. out the antlers, yeah. <laughs> it is my favourite. This is my favourite. A sea flap flap. A seagull? Uh, uh, a manta ray. ray. Manta ray. That's it. Yep. Yeah. Stingray, manta ray. That's fine. Uh, Eleven. A fart squirrel. Skunk. Yes. Oh. I'm kicking your Twelve. ass at there. Hairy nope nope. Oh! Um, hairy Porcupine. Hedgehog. Nope. nope. A hairy, hairy nope nope. Spider. Yes. Mm-hmm. Spider. Nope. 13. A formal chicken. A, for- a turkey? <laughs> no. A, form- a cockerel? No. Formal chicken. Formal chicken. An emu. Ostrich. Nope. Uh, formal. Do you know what's great? I've got you naming loads of different type of birds. <laughs> Goose. A formal chicken is not a Swan. goose. Swan. No. Is it a goose? <laughs> Your face. Just a... Nope. Is it just a chicken? Formal chicken. Formal chicken. You're not helping by saying <laughs> it like this. 
a cowardly secretary. <laughs> a penguin. Oh. A formal chicken. <laughs> I'm not angry, I'm just disappointed. <laughs> oh, a space bulb. Star. Sun? A sun! Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, 15, a human bin. Me? <laughs> Um, Boris Johnson. <laughs> Topical. Donald Trump. Topical. Nope. Human bin. <laughs> I love Phil's concentrating face. <laughs> For the purpose of the tape, we have never seen Phil frown so hard. Do you want to know? Yeah, go yeah, on. It's cause... a coffin. Oh! oh! I love that! Yeah. Oh, that's really oh. funny. It's a good that one. Ha! Them, right I now. love this one. I forgot about this one. Number 16. Tree pedophiles. <laughs> we used to get loads of them. Did you really, Phil? <laughs> no, tree no, pedophiles. E- every not summer. Not two, not tree. No, no. Actual tree pedophiles. Yeah, no, the bus, uh, like a coach trip, full of them. Okay. Yeah. Um, this is what happens in Barnard Castle. <laughs> okay. Uh, I test some tree pedophiles. <laughs> I test some tree pedophiles, yeah, and that's the title. How, um, long, how long ago? How long uh, ago? Fuck off. Um, <laughs> Damn it. <laughs> Couple of the contending titles are Do you know the green sheen you get on bacon and I test some tree pedophiles? Go on, tree um, pedophiles. So you'd get wall huggers and tree pedophiles <laughs> just turn what? up on a coach trip. Okay. And they they just they'd I don't know. I don't know why. But they'd come in across the county bridge because I lived on the road that was right next to the bridge into into the town, next to the river. Um, and they would pull up into this sort of like lay-by parking space area just across the road from mm. our house, uh, which just also happened to be just down the road and down the cliff of the castle. So mm. the castle was sort of just above us, but down the road a bit. Mm. Um, and they would come by the coach load and they would hug the trees around the bo- the bottom of this cliff and hug the castle walls. Oh. Okay. And I don't know why. And this was an annual event. This wasn't oh. just a one-off occurrence. This was How coach loads odd. of people for a, a week or two in the middle of summer would just come oh. out, they'd stand on a shitty piece of grass, <laughs> shitty raised piece of grass because okay. it was on an old wall, mm. and then hug a different wall that was really old, and then hug some trees, and then they'd fuck off for a picnic or a gangbang or something. I don't know. <laughs> Maybe a bit of both. Ah! Well, it's, that's not the right answer, but it, it was interesting. Yeah. yeah. Well, that happened for years. Uh, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yes. Yes. I fucking did. <laughs> And I don't know why. I don't yeah. know why. My mum doesn't know why. But if I ask her about the wall huggers, she'll, she'll be like, "Fucking wall huggers." I'm going to drop, drop your mum a message tomorrow asking about the tree huggers. Uh, ask her, like some ask her about the tree huggers and the wall huggers, uh, especially wall huggers, because she she used to just cut. Uh, I'd refer to them as the wall huggers or the wall shaggers. The wall, wall that, shaggers. Is that the wall shaggers are back, Mark? That's a great band name. I was like, that sounds like the. It's like Darcy and the Wall Shaggers. Yeah. <laughs> that's a band Darcy and the Wall Shaggers. Uh, that's not the answer, but it's, yeah, it's close. Oh, oh, oh. Tree pedophile tension. sloths. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, number 17 is a danger noodle. Uh, it's a snake. It's a snake. Yeah, that's snake. right. Yeah, I think I it's safe to say, uh, yeah, it's safe to say Andy won that one. I, I that like that. I, I like that. that. Tree that pedophiles so made me laugh. I object. <laughs> I clearly won. You've not done very well today, have you, uh, Phil? You lost to me. Me. What? 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 To the other name game. What? What performance review shit is this? <laughs> Fuck off. Hey, it's like third quarter or something. First quarter, isn't it, or something? <laughs> <laughs> right. Th- this is one that I've um. Uh, had sitting around for a while, but I completely forgot to mention it uh, because I, I just I have it saved. It's a tab that is on my fucking web browser that is mm-hmm. there every time I open up my laptop. Okay. Uh, so it's been there for months. Okay. And I just keep forgetting to mention it. Well, maybe not months, just over a month now, because mm. uh, this story was the fifth of April. Okay. 
So not, that, a, not that long it's, away. It's fairly recent. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I just haven't remembered to mention it until now. Okay, I'm ready. Yes. Um, Irish barista. So, kind of relevant to your line yeah. of work, Andy. Okay. Uh, Irish barista ends up in hospital after blank. Coffee collision. Is it? Is the Irish part relevant? Pressing matter. I, <laughs> it, 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 it's only mentioned as Irish because this comes from the Irish mirror. Ca- did, he, did he put too much Guinness in his coffee? Uh, cafetiere cuffuffle. Um, she did not. Okay. Um, I can give you a little bit more detail. After unrelated incident. <laughs> uh, Irish barista ends up in hospital after uh, something, after blank, blanking for two years. Oh, after... Not drinking anything for two years. Consuming no drinking fluids for two years. Drinking nothing but coffee for two years. Ooh. Or like consuming nothing but coffee. Consuming for two no years. fluids for two years. You you're both thinking far too logically. Uh, the fact that they're Irish and that the a barista really has fuck all to do with this oh, story. Right, okay. okay. Um I don't know, finger Eat- blasted themselves. <laughs> Eating fluff. You're in a you're in a better direction. What? It's it's not it's not to do with them putting something in. It's that something wasn't coming out. Not shitting for two years. <laughs> no. <laughs> They've not shat for two years, Phil. Is that what you're telling me? Are you telling me a human well, being on planet Earth is shit for two years? Is that what you're saying? Well, you years. see, they didn't have a butlins nearby. <laughs> <laughs> I know they are the best toilets. Um. It wasn't quite that bad. Irish barista ends up in hospital after holding in farts around her boyfriend for two years. Oh, I actually read this the other day as well. Oh, my God. Uh, so Cara Clark was at work when she developed extreme stomach pain and was rushed to hospital. Uh, the Irish barista said that she landed herself in hospital because she refused to fart around her boyfriend for two years. The mad story involved when Cara Clark was at work uh, during she can fart at work. Uh, it's the best place to I, do it. I, I think that's actually the whole story. <laughs> that's, <laughs> well, that's all the details. Logistically, even if you lived with them, when you go to the toilet, for starters, when you poop, when you go to the toilet, you can't help but fart because it's the same yeah. track. <clears throat> Poots, yeah, exactly. You can. When she go, when she's outside, when she's like going to work, I'm assuming they're not in the same vehicle. So, <laughs> so. They can the same vehicle. The same vehicle. So she can fart then. She's just not pregnant. Are you sure she's just not pregnant? And she just gave birth. <laughs> she gave birth to win. <laughs> can you imagine that fart in the hospital? The le- oh, she <laughs> <see> that. <laughs> That's that why we got storm warning. That poor nurse that's on fart duty to make sure that everything's working okay. Can you try to cut that umbilical cord? Oh. Forceps. Uh, laxatives, yeah. I'd be far too tempted to just go in there with a needle and just pop. Pop. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Come on, come on, coat hanger. Jesus Christ, as if she's not. Who doesn't fart in front of their boyfriend after two oh, years? Sarah did not even register that I just said that. What's that, sorry? <laughs> he said needle, I'm like, come on, coat hanger. No! Well, she's not but, actually having a baby, is yeah, it? Yeah, but it's a fart, not a fetus. Sorry, a hoover. Uh, when did you first fart in front of each other, out of interest? Probably straight away, to be honest. <laughs> I fuck him up the arse on a regular basis. <laughs> so really farts much, are going to happen. Yeah. This There's is very really true. That much to this hide. is very true. I can't remember the first time. I think Chris farted in front of me first. And then um, I never fart because I'm a lady. <laughs> uh, and if I do fart, it smells like rainbows and, and unicorns. You, you farted like 30 minutes ago. <laughs> I said Sarah. in front of Chris. Sarah. You ain't my boyfriend. So your friends your are dub boys. <laughs> Well, that, that's a nice shadow colour. <laughs> <laughs> shit, brown. Shit. Oh, I've seen your I've, shit. It's okay, I've seen your shit. Uh, would that one have a uh, sort of yellow... Sweet corn in it. Flex in it. <laughs> Sweet corn. Yeah, 100%. It was end to end. It was ridiculous. <laughs> Some reason my brain interpreted that as either 
it curved round the ball, or it curved right <laughs> up the ball. It was end to end. It was, Sarah's laid a fucking behemoth. She burnt she, a snake. She burned the Arc de Triomphe of poop. <laughs> Oh. Oh. Do you know the world record for the longest poop is 19 inches, I believe? He's exaggerating. And they froze it and turned it into a bottle. <laughs> apparently, apparently someone took a picture. Lovely. Yeah. We, we can all take who pictures. Measures that? <laughs> who measured it? I don't know. Who shop was that? To just Imagine getting it out of the toilet. To, they were like, fucking hell, that's a bit long. Let me get my tape measure. Imagine being at the Guinness Book of Records and getting the call for that the one. the longest shit. And they show their face and everything. <laughs> he comes with a tape measure. No, takes, Irish his, takes his job very seriously. He's got a clipboard. He's got a very long tape measure. Gloves. <laughs> Helmet. He's a Japanese salary man. <laughs> <laughs> Holding this monstrous turd. <laughs> you know what? I bet, it was just, I bet it was girthy as well. <laughs> <laughs> It That's had, a funny word. It had a say. consciousness. That's a funny word to say with a proper broad northern accent. Girthy. It was girthy. Anything with a nice ooh, girth. Sound. Yeah. Anyway. Anyway. <laughs> That's gonna do it for this week's episode of the Weird Fear Three or Four podcast. I have been a nineteen-inch shit. <laughs> and I'm Phil. <laughs> Just a reminder that this week's episode of the We Pay For Your Floor podcast was sponsored by Ecclefecking. It's an Ecclefecking okay time, I guess. <laughs> Yay! And until next time, we will see you later. I'm going to go home because um, I'm knackered and old and I shall tr- endeavour to be the best person I can be. I'm very uh, impressed that you be. remember to come straight in with that. Uh, you're, that you're welcome. I'm not even going to say remember. I'm just going to say well done Thank you. and we pay for, for your, your floor. floor. Thank you. <laughs> Water with corners! <laughs> Water with corners! Uh, oh, oh. Like tree pedophiles. But it's, that's fucking true. I know, darling, no, I completely <laughs> believe you. But it's not that green, you can't on <laughs> Fucking hell. Buy the bloody We're bus cute. load. Do you know what? It's just such We're a relatable. I know we are. It's I just such care. a relatable thing because everyone out there will go. Mm, yeah. Mm, that yeah, great. Yeah. You, you yeah. mention that and then know exactly mm. what it is. Yeah, exactly. That, yeah. That shine on the bacon. Yeah. Spoiled meat. Yeah. Everyone yeah. knows what that looks like. Yeah. Spoiled meat. E- even if they're vegan, they know what it looks like. They know like. what it looks like. <laughs> everyone knows what a bit of green bacon everyone. is. <laughs>